What is going on everyone? Josh here. Today we are working more on our skin retouching series. More specifically, we are working on color correction for skin using swatches and curves. It's a little bit more of a tricky thing to do, but the end result is absolutely stinking phenomenal. So let's go ahead and get started. Right here we have uh her name will be jessica today we have our beautiful friend jessica uh first thing we want to do as always is we're going to hit Control or command j and make a copy of our layer there we go all right now that we have a copy of our layer we need to make a group so let's go ahead and make sure no layer is selected and let it let's let us create a new group all right now I'm gonna do something a little bit out of the normal and it's not the way that I make my selections normally, but Photoshop has a very good tool and we are going to use it. Um, we're going to auto select our subject in this photo. So we're gonna select, we're gonna to go to subject and that will auto generate a selection of Jessica and we are going to click on our group make sure that layer one is not highlighted and only group is highlighted then we're coming down here to the bottom and we're going to hit add layer mask we should have a layer mask only on the group and it should only have her in it all right here's where the fun begins i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and i'm going to create a new layer underneath the group and with this layer I am going to come over here to my eyedropper tool the moment that I find it <coughs> so our, our eyedropper tool the eyedropper tool I cannot speak today all right now if you look whenever you select your eyedropper tool you're gonna have point sample and current layer up here so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click our layer one or our copy of our background layer and then we're going to change our sample size to an 11 by 11 average that is 11 pixels wide 11 pixels tall as the average of the colors within that box so let's go ahead and click on a place that is representative of her skin color make sure that you don't get anywhere into the extreme highlights or the extreme shadows so this little place right here on her cheek, the kind of middle ground between the shadows and the highlights here is what we are gonna use, just like that. All right, what that should have done is that should have selected that color for us and added it to our swatch on the left-hand side. All right, now we are going to select layer two, the layer that we just created. We are going to take a paintbrush and we are just going to make a little circular dot of that color on layer two. I think. There we go. I had to move the layer up one. All right. From here, this is where it gets fun and you can find this on our Facebook. I'll put the link down into the description for you, but I have created a swatch of both perfect and imperfect skin tones that you can use for your photos. There are only four scientifically perfect skin tones, but using, you know, good lighting and perfect color correction inside the camera, there are more that are perfectly imperfect, if that makes any sense. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to load that into our image now. So da -da 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 -da. We're going to go to place embedded. We're going to grab our skin color cheat sheet that I created. We're going to hit place. All right. Now that we are at this point, we're going to grab our skin color cheat sheet and we are just going to move it until we find a color that matches the best. So it would be between those two in the perfect, but it's pretty much right on the money for that 238, 191, 168. So from here, we are going to grab our eyedropper tool again, 
and we are going to change our selection from our average to just a point sample. Make sure that your skin color cheat sheet is the layer that is selected and we are just going to click on it just like that. And then we are going to take our paintbrush, go back over to layer two, and we are just going to paint a little dot underneath it, just like that. Now we can hide our cheat sheet and we are going to use our eyedropper tool one more time, but we're going to do it in a little bit different way. We're going to use it as a color sampler. So right click your eyedropper tool and go down to color sampler tool. All right, you want to click on the target color first and then the actual color second. So the second one is the color of her skin. The first one is the color that we want it to be. From there, we're going to go over here to our group and we are going to create a da -da 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 -da, curves layer mask. It's a curves layer mask. All right, we can go ahead and we can delete this little where it says curves one, the white box. We don't need that, so we can just hit delete here. All right, now, whenever we are looking at our photo, we've got this kind of histogram showing up up here. Um, right here, it is in just the full on RBG channel. Now, if we just, let me get out of this. If we just hold control or shift, it doesn't do anything. So we're going to make sure that our click and drag to drag image to modify the curve thing is on. So we're going to go ahead and click it. And now if we just click that, you see it puts a point up here on our histogram. We don't want to use that because whenever you come over here to your red, there's no point green blue all the same thing this uh this is a combination of all three channels that can be moved at one time or another so in order to delete this little white square all we're going to do is hold control and click on it and it should go away all right now come back over to our original color and we're going to hit control shift and then click and what that will have done is made it where we now have a point inside of each and every single one of our color channels now if you look at your info panel here on the left hand side you're going to see R196, G176, B185, R209 see the one on the right is the current color the one on the left is the color we want to make it this is where I screwed it up last time so just bear with me for a second all right we have our red we have an input and an output so we want our output to be one nine six just like that now we're going to switch to our green channel and our green channel should be one seven nine all right now we're going to go to our blue channel and we're going to change our blue channel to 185. All right. Now we have what is technically a perfect skin tone, skin color for her, and it has only affected just her in the image. Now, if I hide this and I turn the group on and off, you can see the changes in the color of the skin. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to right click. I'm just going to click fit on screen, even though that's going to make it a little bit blurry. Um, so this is with it on. This is with it off. Now let's, see, let's show you something that is super cool here. We can come over here and we can create another selection. So we're going to select. We're going to go down to subject and it's going to create a selection of our subject and we're going to click down here 
we are going to create a new group and we are going to add a layer mask for it now oh i just messed it up let me go back one i just clicked Control z to go back now i need to invert this mask Control shift i or command shift i on your computer that inverts your selection now we want to go ahead and hit our layer mask and what this is going to do is it's going to create a opposite mask of the one that we created and what we can do here is we can take and we can just add a, another layer mask to it we're going to call it levels and we're just going to move some things around kind of darken up her surroundings like so and we're going to change the mode on this mask from normal to luminosity we can ditch that now we're back here to our curves and it looks like we are all done so if i take and let me close down that group i can trash this layer and i can trash this layer now so this is no corrections this is all your corrections i know it doesn't look like a huge deal but these little things make big differences in the quality of your photo all right guys well that is it for today have a good one deuces